Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, I just wanted to show you a couple of methods for key switching, custom key switching. I'm going to be showing you this in Reaper, but the first technique I'll show you I think is applicable to almost any sequencer, and the second technique is just for Reaper. So I've got a track here with a VST on it, on the first channel I've got a key switch patch. Uh, this could easily just be a solo patch though, a single patch. But the reason I want to use this will become clear later on. And on the second channel I've got a harpsichord. I just chose a harpsichord so we'd have some contrast, but I mean for practical purposes what you'd use this for is maybe you'd have crossfade patches loaded up or different articulations for the same instrument that kind of thing or you could load up a harpsichord and a violin if you wanted um, so the first technique it uses um, bedule and if I just add an instance of that now bedule is um, it looks complicated but it's quite easy to use um, you basically right click and you just add various modules and then you connect them up blue ones are audio white ones are MIDI and this is the input this is the output so if we went like this MIDI would just flow straight through and the effect would do nothing and you could do the same with the audio um, I've moved it up here as well if you're using Reaper um, you want to have Bejewel the first thing in the chain. Um, in fact, that goes for any sequencer, really. And you could also put this on an input insert um, rather than an output one. Um, it doesn't really make too much difference. So we're just going to go into the uh, Bejewel menu and choose Key Switch. Nice and simple. And connect up the input and connect up the output. If you double click on the bedule it opens up options and you can see we've got KS channel 1, KS channel 2, KS channel 3. These are the key switch channels and if we go back to our VST, channel 1 and channel 2 are what we're using. So to switch to channel 1 we'll want C1. Actually um, the, the numbering in bedule is a bit weird so Whereas we've got C0 is note 0 here. So you see Reaper goes down to minus 1. C minus 1. So I think what I want here is C2 actually. Note 24 it should be. Note 24. And we set that to channel 1. And channel 2 will set to um, D2. Okay, if I play something now, it should play on channel 1, that's the default. So we've got the violin sound there. And then if I hit the key switch, it should now play the harpsichord sound. Now one thing... Um, to note doing it this way is if we're using a key switch patch um, like this for the first channel when you go back to the channel one say you wanted to um, switch from the harpsichord to this uh, spiccato patch in the first channel which is obviously on E1 first of all you'd have to switch to channel one by pressing um, the, the first key switch so you'd have to switch back to channel one with C2 and then you'd have to call the key switch for this key switch patch. And you could actually do that for each channel, which will give you um, a lot more key switches because with the dual, with the, this key switch module, you're limited to 16. But if you're using key switch patches, you've essentially got um, as many patches as you have key switch patches. One thing also is if you're, say, say the last patch you were on was the spiccato, You then switch over 
to the harpsichord. And then you switch back by pressing the C1. But you see it goes back to the spiccato, it doesn't reset to this C here, which is usually what you want. You want it to reset to the sus patch, or whatever your first patch is in the instrument you're using. And the reason it doesn't do that is because Bejewel doesn't pass through the note for the key switch. So you've also got to do that. So uh, right click again, go into MIDI, um, filters, note filter, and you set that up alongside the key switch. And you select the first output. So unselect all, and then the note you want to pass through is what will come through the left. So the, the left output on the bidule, this one. So we select the um, the note that we want to pass through, which is uh, note 24. So now if I switch to the, um, I'm on the spiccato here, switch to the harpsichord, then switch back, it should go back to the sustain patch. So this technique you can use in um, any sequence, so obviously you'll need Bejewel. Now the other method is, um, it only works in Reaper. Basically it's um, a Reaper plugin. Reaper's got its own little scripting language called JS. And if, you, if you're in Reaper and you load up plugins, you'll see this tab, JS. And you can filter out your plugins by typing things in. So we're looking for a MIDI plugin. And the plugin we want is this multi-channel MIDI key switch. Now this doesn't come with Reaper, this is a plugin I made. Um, it's available for free, you can get it at the Reaper website, just have a search on Google, and I'll post a link in this video. You can also download it from my Facebook page, there's a link on there as well. And the source code is free, I mean once you have the plugin in, you just gotta make sure it's first in the chain, as we did with Bejewel, it's always the same with these things, the plugin has to come before the um, VST. And um, yeah, once it's in, it looks like this, very similar to the Bejewel one. If you click edit, you can actually see the source code. So it's all open source, it's free for anyone to use. You can modify it, do what you need. And um, it basically works exactly the same as the Bejewel one. Uh, the note numberings are different, the setup to actually um, tie in with Reaper's note numbering. So note 24 is C1. So, I mean, this has got some default things set up, C2, D2, E2, but you can change that. And if you're not using them, set them to not used. And um, that'll stop any accidental key switching. And the other thing with this is um, the notes are passed through. So make sure that the key switches are only set up to notes outside of the instrument's playing range. Otherwise, when you press a key switch, you'll actually hear a note play as well. Another cool thing you can do is, if I move that out of the way, just increase the mixer here. So we've got our play plugin here, but say we wanted our second instrument, our second articulation to be in um, another VST, so it was in uh, contact. You can do that, you can combine libraries. So you can take instruments you like from one library, um, let's say in contact, and combine it with the one in play. So if I set this up to channel 3, so channel 1 should be our strings, channel 2 will be our harpsichord, and channel 3 should be a French horn. So it's really easy to use. Um, the resources for this particular plugin, if I bring that up, you can see that we're using hardly any CPU. Hope you found this useful and check out the Facebook page, check out the website, uh, post comments below and I'll do another video soon.